everyone in this video i am going to explain you that if every time you are trying to apply the 2 to the power n concept of fork that how many fork are there in the program then it will be your answer will be 2 to the power n times it will print then it will be wrong yes because in my last video i have explained that yes in this program if you are applying to the 2 to the power n concept that is 2 to the power 3 equals to 8 here it will print 8 times happy yes it was correct so if you have not watched that video please watch that i am giving the link in the description in uh, the top box also and in the description also but see this program this program here is also 1 2 3 fork now if I am telling though here is also 2 to the power 3 means 8 times the happy will be printed. Is it correct? No. This is totally wrong. Why it is wrong? That's why the concept is required guys. Why it is wrong? And this type of question are coming in UGC NET gate. It is a question of UGC NET 2020. And after this question I am going to explain it little bit more complicated that types of question are coming in gate. And it can come in any other competitive exam. So, must pass the recording till the end. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification. After watching the complete video, if you are think that yes, the video was useful, then please like, comment and share this video to all of your friends. So, now come to the point. See that here it is statement 1 is telling P1 display happy 8. Yes, that is we have already done in our last video. But how many times this will be printed? It is given that it is printing 12 times. Is it correct or false? Pause the video, try to solve it. After that, try to come to the explanation. Yes. So, this statement is wrong why it is wrong if it is wrong now how many times the happy will be printed how to do it what was the concept the concept is that the main program is starting from the main and when it is starting then after that it is the program counter is coming here whenever the program counter will come the remaining part of the program will be created to copy here it will create two copy for the remaining part of the program Again, for this two copy, the program counter will execute. How it is? This is the way that already we have done for the first part. This was the first part, how the 8 is coming. This was the first part of 8, right? Now, in the second part, how the second part is working, see that. The fork, this is the first fork. In the first fork, where it is coming, it is creating this part, right? So, this part is creating two times, this one and this one. Now, here, now program counter is coming to here. So, whenever program counter is coming to here, now it is printing the happy. This is also printing the happy. That's why happy is printed. Now, program counter is coming to here and here also in this location because always fork is sharing the same program counter through the fork when it is creating two one parent and another child both are sharing the same program counter right so that's why it is now in this program counter now it is a fork here here is also fork so this fork will create the child here the remaining part of the program here also the remaining part of the program that's why the remaining part of the program is coming like this. That is printf, fork and printf. Here also printf, fork and printf. Here also and here also. Right. So, total four copies created. From here there is two copy, parent and child. From here also there is two copy, parent and child. Now see, now the program counter is here. For everyone the program counter is here. Printf, printf, printf. So, as there is printf happy, it will print one happy. Printf happy, it will print another happy. Printf happy, it is printing another happy and it is also printing another happy. Now, the program counter is moving next. Here, now here, now it is here and now it is here. So, as the program counter is coming to this position, now what it will do? 
see that here is again the fork so this fork it will create two times means the remaining part there is only one line remaining part printf happy it will also be printf happy right two times this fork is also creating two times this is printf this is also printed this fork is also created two times this is also this is also and this fork is also creating two times this is and this is now all the printf happy it is printing happy this is also 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 printing happy this is printing happy and this and this now total how many happies are there in the last line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here 9 10 11 12 13 14 total 14 happy will be printed from this program in this way i hope now it is clear to you right so now i am going to the next program so please comment in the comment section below that first part is clear or not and that's why your answer will be statement one is correct it is printing eight times happy the first part was this one it is printing eight times happy second part is printing 14 times happy but second part is telling it will print 12 times happy no it will print eight times happy now 14 times right so that's why it is wrong and your answer will be this one now come to the next part so for the next question some more concept is required what is the more concept that how fork is returning fork is returning three types of value here it is the theory you can go to the theory fork is returning three types of value one is negative value another is positive value another is zero when negative value when fork is unsuccessful when it is unsuccessful means when it is unable to create any child then it is returning negative value when it is returning positive value positive value it is returning for the newly means parent because every fork there are two part one child and another one is parent right parent is returning positive value and child is returning zero positive value means it is a parent parent will return positive now positive means what positive means it will be process id whatever process id that will be returned okay so it returns the parent in the caller the value contains the process id of newly created child is process id of newly created child and zero zero that it is returning zero for the child process with our child process that will be return zero okay and as all you all know that they are sharing the same program counter so this is the theory for the fork you can write down this theory you can take the screenshot now this is the program for you this is the question number two here you can see it is stdio.h and all now the int min now what it is going on see that here it is fork and this is and then again fork then there is fork next there is printf hello and next there is return now tell me how many times hello will be printed what will be the answer please pause the video try to solve it and let me know in the comment section how many times fork will be created after that i am telling you the uh, that what will be the answer and how the answer is coming but please try to do it by yourself pause it okay now come to the answer try to understand the question so definitely program counter will start from here yes program counter is starting from here now whenever the program counter is starting now next part is this one now it is coming to the if condition and very carefully remember that whenever there is any if condition and there is no bracket means by default the next line is under if condition means the fork is under the if condition this printf is outside the if condition is it or not this printf is not inside the if condition it is outside the if condition okay 
so when the inside there is a fork so when this fork will be executed if this is true if inside value will be true then the fork will be executed now how it will be executed there is a and and means if this is true and this is true when both are true then only it will be executed right so when both are true how to do it how to do the both are true see that fork is telling just now i told that one fork is sending one parent and another one is child and parent is returning the positive value that is plus value child is returning value zero zero means false and other than zero any positive value or also negative value is also true actually so as there is positive value that's why it is true now every time when it will create a parent this will return a true result when it is creating the child that is creating a false result right so now come to the explanation so that's why i am here so when this fork is executing so this fork is executing means it will create the remaining line remaining line means what that the remaining line of the program this is the remaining now it will create a child this is a child and this is a parent now child is returning zero whenever the child is returning zero means the if condition will be false as the if condition is false so it will not execute this for because it is false means it is coming out from the if condition now this will execute only this line that is print line will be execute right so that's why it will print the hello and it will come out from the loop it will not execute another fork and this fork because already i get here false as there is false so means other option will be also false because 0 and 1 and 0 and 0 both are actually false right so the condition will be false so next one as it is false so it will be not executed it will execute only this one so the hello will be there now for the parent part when it is parent part when it is coming to the next one that yes it is returning now one parent parent is returning a positive now whenever parent will return positive the next it will try to execute this fork right so when this is trying to execute this fork this fork is again creating two child one is child another one is parent and child will return zero so whenever child is returning zero then it will not execute this fork it will execute only this print line and it will print hello it will come out now the parent that is returning one so whenever this will returning one for this condition both will be true this was also parent this was also parent now it is coming to this fork now when it is coming to this fork then it will create another two that is this one parent and child right this two is done now the program counter is here for the child also the program counter is here and parent also program counter is here so child also printing hello hello parent also printing hello and finally it is coming out from the program so how many times the hello is printed here one two three four four times the program will print hello so here your answer will be 4. I hope you got this explanation how it is working because one by one the program counter is going down right. The same like this just try to compare that program in that way that one part one part one by one part means actually how it is working in this first part. Uh, when you are executing then first part will be and till return zero next part will be this that way it will be execute now power is gone thank you bye i am ending the video here only please like share and subscribe to the channel i will see you soon in my next video bye bye